And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show presents the National League Division Series. It's the St. Louis Cardinals going up against the Atlanta Braves. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shelby. With game six in front of us, it's an elimination game on one side, but this series feels like it could go either way. You never want to be down three to two, but we've seen plenty of teams come back from that, especially when they're playing the last two at home. So it's not an ideal scenario, but playing in your own stadium with your fans behind you probably makes it a little more doable. And on the flip side, you really don't want to let this go to a game seven. When the crowd's even more fired up, the momentum's against you. They're looking to finish this thing today. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So almost ready to get underway. And on the mound now, Charlie Morton. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? Yeah, he battled through seven innings last time out. He pitched well enough to get the win thanks to that offense. He'll look to turn in another quality start in this one. All right, ready to get underway. Now up for St. Louis, Tommy Edmond. The pitch. Close, but called the ball. Two and one. Swing and a miss, chased it out of the zone. That's a really big swing right there. He's got to remember, with this speed, a walk or a single can turn into extra bases by stealing a base or two. Next offering is down low. And a full countdown. Next offering is fouled back. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out in the top of the first. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. One down, base is empty. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there are two down. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Here's Tyler O'Neill on the ground to third, and it's a one-two-three inning. And down in order go the Cardinals. And now the Braves with their first chance to hit were scoreless. Major League Baseball is on. We go to the bottom of the first. And towing the slab, the guy with the big yacker, the yellow hammer, Uncle Charlie, Adam Wainwright. What do you have on him? Yeah, he was a tough luck loser last time out, dominating his opponent, soft contact, they were able to score a couple of runs. But outside of that, everything was sharp. You hope that he gets a better result this time out. Reward the guy for his hard work. Bottom of the first. Here's the veteran outfielder, Eddie Rosario. Next pitch downstairs. And the count, two and one. And the right-hander deals. Off the mark there. Three and one. And that's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. The second baseman, Ozzy Albies. 
The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. And the righty deals. Next pitch in for a strike. That's strike two. Nobody out. Runner at first. has got his timing down for the breaking ball if you're a pitcher if you can get that fastball in on the hand it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it that one ran inside almost got him three two now and ball four two aboard well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. This guy has turned into a beast at the belt and fires. Swing and a little roller right side. Goes to second. Safe there. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Rosario at third. All these over at second. Olsen at first with no outs. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Bader moving under this one. Puts the squeeze on that one. Runner tags from third. Now a relay to the plate. He beats it safe. And it's 1-0. Well, right there, he's definitely looking for more than just a sack fly with the bases loaded and nobody out, but you'll take it. Now it's up to the guys coming up behind him to pick up the rest of those runners on base. Here's Austin Riley. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. The pitch. Got the back going too soon at strike two. In the air to left center, Bader glides back and puts the squeeze on that. And there's two down. Batting six. So first and second with two outs. Adam Duvall at the plate. You know, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. And it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. And now one and two. First and second, two down. And here it comes. Pitch misses, and it's two and two. Two outs. Bounced out to short. Over to Edmund. That ends the inning. End of the first from Truist Park. It's the Braves one and the Cardinals nothing. Back at Truist Park. All set for the start of the inning. Now up the Cardinals number four hitter, Nolan Arenado. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. The wind of the pitch. To third. And he picks it up in foul territory. Righty delivers. 
And a foul ball. He stays alive. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And quickly one away in the second. Oh, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. This is Dylan Carlson. And a pitch. Misses outside, and a count two and one. Wide to kick the pitch. There's a strike. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. The 2 2. And there's a ball. Two strikes, the count is full. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Here's Dickerson now. The 1 1. That one missing inside. And he deals. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. Making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller. Yeah, and Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boog. He's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time. Maybe some inconsistency here or there, but usually he's back there doing a solid job. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two away. Really good, hard bite to that breaking ball for the strikeout right there. I mean, he was able to bury it down below the zone, and that's throwing the pitch with conviction. Good thing for the pitcher, he's not going to miss in the zone, and that's where you get hurt. Excellent execution with two strikes. That could be a big weapon for him in this start. Now Molina at the plate. Next offering is fouled back. Carlson off of first with two away. Liner snagged it first. The cards leave one, and it remains 1-0. We head to the bottom of the second. Now it's the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Swanson, former first-round pick by the Arizona Diamondbacks. Vanderbilt player in college, college World Series player, all that good stuff, but really coming into his own. Down the right field line, that's a base hit. Around first, digging for two. The throw into second, and that's a leadoff double. you got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Now it's Alex Dickerson. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Two two now. Full count. Three balls, two strikes. That one the other way. Whips it across. That's one out the bottom of the second. Batting none. The catcher. Travis. Yarno. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like 
everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. And a pinch. That oh, one no. misses. And it's two and one. That's inside. One away with a runner at third. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the right fielder, Eddie Rosario. Let off the bottom of the first with a walk. Three, two now. On the ground to first. Could be two. Over to DeYoung. And it's a double play to end the inning. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Braves one and the Cardinals nothing. Back here in Atlanta. New inning getting started. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Paul DeYoung. And a count one and two. Stays alive. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. And a swing and a miss. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And now Bader up to the plate. Here's a 1-1. And he chases a high fastball there. Swing and a miss, and he got him. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Left-hand batter waits. Ground ball to the right side. Olsen takes it himself, and the inning is over. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. They still trail 1-0. Set for the bottom of the third, and now Ozzie Albies. Here comes a pinch. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. DeYoung on the move. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one away. That's a really nice play ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those could be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Here is Matt Olson. Right-hander kicks, deals. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. The other way, and he beats the shift. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Man at first with one gone. And the batter now, Marcelo Zuna. Drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up.
the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next offering misses. Full count now. Olsen at first, one gone. Ground ball right side could be two. To second for one. Back to first for two, and that'll do it. We're through three here in game number six. It's the Braves one and the Cardinals nothing. Start of the fourth. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Comes a 2-2. Two -two. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. 3-2. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Up the middle, and it's through for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, that may end up being an at-bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. No outs. Runner at first. Here's a speed threat. Tyler O'Neill. He's 0 for 1. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit. And hard to order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Kicks and fires. Just foul of third. Next one misses. Two and two. And a pitch. Stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Next offering misses. Three and two now. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Well, on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Oh, and now a wild pitch. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Now, here is Nolan Arenado. His first at bat was a strikeout. pitch that oh. misses ball three and the righty deals and there's ball four he's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound but you know his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this but he's gonna have to buckle down right here two on one out now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Dylan Carlson. That hits the dirt, and yeah, that's ball two. Good spot for the hitter, definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. So the tying run at second. Gets the outside corner with that one. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next offering is fouled back. Mm -hmm. 
The 2-2. Two -two. Got him swinging. Two gone. Well, that's pretty much the dream two-strike curveball. If you're the pitcher, hard downward break at the very end that just dips below the swing path. And they say pitchers want to try to bounce that pitch right on top of the plate. So that was exactly what he was looking for on the mound. Here's Corey Dickerson. Next offering is foul back. That's towards center. Nice grab on the run. And that is that. So the cards strand a couple. They trail here, one nothing. here at the ballpark down the third baseman Austin Riley kicks and deals that misses the zone two and one two ball one strike Missed. Three balls, two strikes, full count. Missed to center field. Bader racing over to make the catch. The center field, number 14, Adam Duvall. And now the center fielder, Adam Duvall. Swing and a miss. One, two. That is strike two. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. And the right hater deals. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes and two away now. Dansby Swanson stands in. The 2 1. And there's a foul ball. And that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. So here's the Braves designated hitter, Alex Dickerson. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Left hand hitter waits, stays alive. Swanson off of first with two away. Pickoff throw, and he dives back in safely. Back to the mound. That's the inning. One left for Atlanta. But they hold a 1-0 lead. Welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. And stepping up to the dish is Yadier Molina. Offering way off the plate. That's through there for a strike. And a 
foul ball. He stays alive. Swing and a ground ball out to short. One away here in the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. And a pitch. 3-1, oh. and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. And up next for St. Louis, Harrison Bader. Righty delivers. Good eye right there. And that one is lifted in the air. Puts it away for the out. Tommy Edmond at the plate. One, two now. That one just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Rosario on the move to the gap. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. So one left for the Cardinals, still behind by a count of one to nothing. And welcome back. John Chompy with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Travis Dardo. The 2 2 now. And that one fouled off. The wind of the pitch stays alive. And a swing and a miss. And one gone. Well, he used the slow curve very effectively right there. He just spun it up to the plate and had his guy way out front. Not only a good pitch, but a really good job of setting it up. Here's Eddie Rosario. He's 0 for 1. And here it comes. Ground ball up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. Home half of the fifth inning, moving along two quick outs. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Two outs, base is empty. Ozzie Albies getting ready to hit. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. And he deals. And now it's filled up. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Left-hand batter waits. Got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Braves go down quickly here, but they still lead it 1-0. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And here's the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt.
Next pitch is outside. Right into the plate. In the air, right side. Rosario. Long run into the gap. Going up on down. Tyler O'Neill. Next up for the Cardinals. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. And the pitch. Down to the dirt. Swing and a miss. Gets the out. Two down after the strikeout. Two outs, space is empty. Nolan Arenado digs in now. Yep. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. And that one got a piece of him. He had him 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Well, that's pretty much the last thing you're looking to do with two outs and the base is empty. You have the opportunity to be really aggressive with that hitter. You don't want to wake up an offense, and you don't want to give a team an extra out. And a count one and two. Arenado, the runner at first with two gone. Here's a drive out to right center. Way back there. Look out. Gone. His second home run of the series. And they jump out front. It's 2-1. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. And they found a way to fight back big time. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. That's all for Charlie Morton, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. So Luke Jackson gets the call. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Two outs, nobody on. Corey Dickerson, next up for the Cardinals. Next ball pitch two. misses, ball two. two two outs. Just missed. Activity in the bullpen. Tyler Matzik up and loosening in the pen. And that's ball, ball four. four. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, boob. Yadier Molina next up for the Cardinals. two strikes that one fouled off he's getting the barrel to the ball he's just got to work on that timing a little bit right hander kicks deals ball. two balls two strikes to count with two outs
That one is absolutely belted. Out of here. He sends a rocket to left, and they add to the lead. It's 4-1. Breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Next to hit, Paul DeYoung. Next offering is in for a strike. account and a swing and a miss and that's that but the long ball was working in this inning not once but twice it's now 4-1 at Truist Park and now Matt Olson up to hit the Braves in striking distance but have some work to do Boog it starts with the laid off man I need a good at bat out of him right here foul ball Whoa. next offering is downstairs they're all set to throw pitch number 100. He needs a quick inning here if he's going to be able to make it through six complete. and fires swings and misses so he's gotten deep into this game and at least so far not showing a ton of signs of fatigue so now it's the four hole hitter Marcelo Zuna the one one that clips the corner this is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. That's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. It's not often someone hits a baseball this hard. It's worthy of the stack cast treatment, Singy. Well, I was anxious to see what that exit velo would be, and wow, 116 miles per hour. Stat cast absolutely lives for these moments. You know, it's so cool to get that kind of data back almost instantly. Now, here is Austin Riley, and that'll do it. We are on to the seventh here in game six. It's the Cardinals four and the Braves one. Well, here's Darren O'Day to take over for the Braves. Right-hander who throws from the side, really almost down under. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Back here at the ballpark, and stepping in is the speedy Harrison Bader. offering is in for a strike no need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes it's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch O2 
day ahead one and two that misses the zone and it's two and two and he chases that one and he's down on strikes for the second time today no need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not making the adjustment. He came at him with the breaking ball, pitch after pitch in that at bat, and evidently there was no answer for it. Tommy Edmond next up for the Cardinals. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Goldschmidt next up for the Cardinals good contact guy good defender good speed on the base pass he handles the bat very well I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit right field down the line and that one slices foul here comes a pitch that one lifted to left. Ozuna going back on this one. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That's out number two. Man at first. And here is Tyler O'Neill for the fourth time tonight. O'Day throws over Edmund back on a dive. Right handed reliever on the corner for a strike. And a count one and two. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. And he grounds one back up the middle and a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost art for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. That could be a really tough pitch to handle, a front door breaking ball, but he did a great job staying in there, keeping that front shoulder closed. He didn't spit off the ball and hook it foul, which happened so many times. Tyler Matzik will take over on the mound. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Here's Nolan Arenado. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Darnell throws the first in time. And that is that. So the Cards strand a couple as they hold on to a 4-1 lead. Back here in Atlanta, here's the center fielder, Adam Duvall. The 1-1. Foul ball, he stays alive. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Next offering is in the dirt. The pitch. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. Adam Duvall hits one out. And they close the gap. It's 4-2. 
Singy, this was a mammoth home run over 460 feet, according to StatCast. You know, Boog, there are only maybe 20 or so guys in the game that can hit a baseball that far, and it's absolutely crazy. It's even that many. Such an impressive swing of the bat right there. Here comes a manager out of the Cardinals dugout, and he'll make a move to the pen. Adam Wainwright will depart, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Nick Wickren comes on now, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Dansby Swanson. And a pitch. High fly ball out into left center field. O'Neill in position, makes the catch, and there's one gone. The batter, the designated hitter, Alex. Alex Dickerson, Dickerson the next to hit. fires not ball. close with that one and ball. that's ball two ball just three. missed this is a really good feeling for a hitter at this point in the ball game you know that they don't want to walk you so you're going to get a pitch to hit you just better not miss it swing and a miss three and two now Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Next to hit, Travis Dardo. And a pitch. Fought off foul. pitch off the Ball. outside edge and now the count is two and two and that one fouled off two two swings through that one it's a strikeout that's his second strikeout, but not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now 4-2. Welcome back. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Dylan Carlson. Next offering upstairs. And a swing and a miss. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Ball. And the next pitch is way outside. The punch out there, and there's one down. Here's the Cardinal DH, Corey Dickerson. The one two swing and a miss struck him out and there's two away back to back strikeouts to start the frame and that's now three in a row yeah he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches throwing them where he wants to right now so we'll see how long he can keep this streak going
and there's ball four. Bo, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Next offering is in for a strike. Molina leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering is fouled back. One and two here. Next offering misses down and away. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Third out, and that ends the frame. The cards leave one as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. Genesis Cabrera taking them out. Uh, this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Bottom of the eighth, and now the right fielder, Eddie Rosario. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Base hit, so a man on base to start the inning. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Runner in scoring position. No outs. Ozzie Albee's up to the plate. Known for his late inning heroics. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. 2-2 Two -two now. Up the middle. Tosses to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Here's Matt Olson. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. The tying run at the plate. Fouls one off. Two and two. Strike three, got him swinging. Now two out. And now it's Atlanta's cleanup hitter, Marcelo Zuna. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Next pitch is inside, and it's two and one. One pushed foul. Two two down. And a foul ball. Here's a 2-2. Just off the inside edge. And now filled up. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. 
Out to short. DeYoung handles. Slings it across. Inning over. Braves strand one. They trail it here. Four to two. Here comes A.J. Minter to the mound. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Back at Truist Park. We go to the ninth. Now up for St. Louis, Harrison Bader. And a pitch. High fly ball, right field. Rosario makes the catch, and there's one down. So digging in, Tommy Edmond. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Moving in the bullpen, Colin McHugh up and throwing. The pitch. And another ball. Two balls, two strikes. pitch now a high fly ball out to left center Duvall under it two down two outs space is empty and stepping in for the Cardinals Paul Goldschmidt Three one is on the way, and he flips a breaking ball in there, or a changeup. Either one, <laughs> something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. This one smoked out to left. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down, and he's in at second with a two out double. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. So two down, and now Tyler O'Neill. Swing and a tapper. Throw on to Olsen. Third out. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Cardinals four and the Braves two. And now they turn to Giovanni Gallegos, trying to protect this lead. Now in for the Braves, Austin Riley. And here we are, ninth inning, elimination game, and they're trying to keep their season alive. They need him to get on base. Yeah, that's the key. You get on base, you divide that attention a little bit of the pitcher on the mound, and maybe the next hitter gets a mistake and hits it a long way. And the right hater deals. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Bader under it, hauls it in, and there's one away. Now batting, center fielder, Adam Duvall. And next for Atlanta, Adam Duvall. Righty delivers. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch no to the previous seven. hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. 
Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. Duvall over at first with one away. Bounced up the middle. To second, there's one. And the St. Louis Cardinals are one step closer. They'll move on to the National League Championship Series. You win a National League Division Series, you can breathe a little bit as the next one will stretch out to possibly seven games. I'm sure they don't want to take it that far, but they're just going to be happy to get there. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. 